about football. Senior sports reporter for the Crimson White. I'm here with Alabama's PA announcer, Tony Giles. Thanks for being with us. Sure thing. Okay, well, tell the fans how you got started doing all this. Well, I first started doing announcing for basketball. I just finished my 25th season of Alabama basketball. And when I started, Wimp Sanderson was the coach, and he was looking to create some additional home court advantage, a little atmospherics. He asked me if I could be a ringmaster. And I said, give it a shot. So that's when it started. Here we are still doing it. When Coach Saban is ready for the team to come out of the locker room and onto the field, he leads the team out through the tunnel. And we have cameras, of course, that are following the, the team all the way out. Coach Saban will lead them to the edge of the end zone. And usually there's a crowd of people waiting, cheerleaders and others who will be running out ahead of the team. Coach Saban waits until most of the team is out of the tunnel. And he's watching the tunnel. And then when uh, he's ready to go, when he's ready for him to go, he'll turn and he'll use both hands. So we get a little push and say, I'm ready to go. And the crowd then opens up and Coach Saban and the team run out on the field through the tunnel that's usually formed by the band and by student organizations on game day. Well, it sounds like you have a great voice. How do you learn how to speak like a PA announcer? <laughs> I don't know. I, this is just the way I talk. Um, <laughs> there's not any real difference between in front of the microphone and not in front of the microphone, except maybe some difference in inflection, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little more projection. I started working on radio when I was 13 years old. My father was a radio announcer, so I guess I grew up around people who speak distinctly and uh, enunciate as clearly as possible and that's just the way I talk. Now you can see on the Tide TV, here comes Coach Saban, the first of the players. The rest of the team will be coming out of the tunnel. Ordinarily on game day, this is where the tunnel will be formed by the million dollar band and by the uh, cheerleaders and by the student organizations who bring the team out. Coach Saban breaks out of the tunnel crowd sees it, the crowd responds, and the rest of the team will be following along shortly. I hope that people would be most surprised at how difficult it is, because my one of my goals is to do this in such a way that anybody can hear it and see it and think, well, I can do that, nothing to that. <laughs> so so I, I hope that what would surprise people most is the difficulty, the preparation, the uh, intensity from the beginning of a game to the end of a game, whether it's a football game or a basketball game or a gymnastics meet, that, that it, it is um, a physical and mental experience that will wear you out a little bit. But I don't want too many people to know that. I want people <laughs> to think we're just having fun. <laughs> Now you spoke about preparation. What do you have to do? Are you doing like the anchor man thing where you're like doing those voice? Have you seen that movie, Anchor Man? Are they doing the voice inflections before? And well, not really. Although we do, we do some experimentation with with certain things like that with our production crew. We look for ways to make sure that that what we say has the right sound and, and it can be understood. And and there are a lot of things that go into that. There are some words. Um, and you're going to ask me which ones, and I can't think of one right now. But there are some words that you just don't say because they sound like some, they could sound like something else. Uh, most of them are words that could sound like obscenities. That's why I'm not going to tell you what those are. <laughs> now, what can you say in the stadium and know that the crowd is going to go wild? Well, what do you think I could say in the stadium? And um, they would go I'm thinking Touchdown wild. Alabama. <laughs> That's a big one. That's Roll a big tide. one. The, um, Touchdown Alabama, I love what we do with first downs mm -hmm. uh, that we just started a couple of years ago that was uh, actually uh, generated by uh, Coach Saban's wife. Uh, Terry Saban wanted us to have something special that happened with first downs, so we say, first down Alabama, and then the crowd roll tied. First down Alabama. What has been your biggest mess up, you think, in all your PA announcing? <laughs> well, well, let me put it this way. 
Do you remember hearing one? No, I don't. Perfect. As long as, <laughs> as, long as you don't remember hearing one, then obviously there never has been one. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. Keep it, we'll keep it on the DL. <laughs> now, um, do you care to do any of your announcing voice speak? Us. Well, this is it. Uh, this um, touchdown, Alabama. There's a, there is a little more in inflection uh, when we uh, when we break across the, uh, the the chains and we get first down, Alabama. Yeah, roll time. Or when we get in the end zone and it's touchdown, Alabama. But still, my favorite of all is when the team comes out after they've done their pregame warmups. They've gone to the to, to the dressing room, they've gotten their last preparations, and they come out, and we're really ready to start. Mm -hmm. um, there's not much that's more fun than saying, "This is Alabama football." <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us sure today. Thing. Thank you. <laughs>